We are watching GTV Breakfast. My guest is Shatawali. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> How it is? Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Charlie, so you're, you're, you're on your Ghana card. What be your name? Charles Niamamant. Who calls you Charles now? Now? Yes. Now, I think my... Um, some few classmates and um, a couple... Like, a few of church, some church members. They call you Charles. Mm. <laughs> so, like, when I'm going, I get Charles. I say, no, it's not Charles. It's Charles. <laughs> Charles. You know. Charles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about Niyama? Who do they call you Niyama? Uh, Niyama... <laughs> You know, a few family members, you know, and now my fans also know me by Niyama, so so now when they see me, Niyama, Niyama, you know, and yeah, I think yeah, those people. So if somebody came up to you and said, hey, uh, I'm looking for Mr. Mensah Jr., uh, uh, <laughs> how you will re respond? Mr. Mensah Jr. But don't, they don't want to have to be like a landlord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Charlie, Charlie yeah. it's good to have mm -hmm. you here in the studio. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you Happy very life. much. God bless you. No. Life, life's been good, you know, I, I just think... Um, we keep doing what we've been doing best for the people, and I think uh, the love is also great, and mm -hmm. that's that's what we just, you know, coping on. How did the the internet strike hit you yesterday? How did you? When did you know that something was not quite happening? So around um, ten in the morning, you know, I just, uh, my phone because I just sleep mm -hmm. late and wake up. How late did you sleep? Like this morning, I sleep six seventy. No way. Yeah, so I just so I just had like boom, 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 six door. seventeen. You go sleep. Yeah, where you wake up? <laughs> where I wake up now? <laughs> <laughs> so 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 after thing that happened, then what? You thought it was your phone? Yeah, I thought my phone was at fault. You know, I thought maybe you know something for my SIM card. So then I call, you know, my PA, and he told me say no. They say it's the internet. They I check my phone. I say MTN send me a message. I said, hey, what did happen? So then. I was checking, so I was calling people. So yeah. I started calling everybody, like, yeah, yeah. Charlie, what's up? Everybody say, tell the internet to the internet. I say, hey, and today we die. So I got, like, you know, it make us six more. Did you have any theories as to what was going on? No, but, you know, the calls I was making, you know, people told me, him was, you know, some wire weight here for C and I said, so, okay. which for, 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 which which wire. Uh, Is that so, the cable? Uh, I work okay. under, under C cable, fiber optic under C cable. You know, that one, the system is like that, that, you know, they bring the news, you have to embrace it like that. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish I say if you came over. What would yeah. be your theory? You or what's your private theory? Oh, me, I'm saying, did they, they take we do science? You know, did they take, try, they go and try to say, oh, how we could think without internet? Mm. You know, I feel maybe the internet is getting too much into people's heads and, you know, people are abusing it. So, Maybe government won't try to say, okay, how will we shut them down one week, make their bed? You know, because the, you know, the problems on the internet is getting too much these days. You know, people are like mishandling, you know, the opportunities on the internet. You know, somebody like me, I tell people, you know, music, you know, me getting here was the internet. Mm -hmm. You know, so I make positive use of the internet. But I feel maybe our leaders are trying to and see how well they can, you know, shape us and, you know, discipline us, you know. Do that. So, as you talk, say, why I say, which why? Because I go collegona before, I go chocolate before, before, no wire did it. They say they under sea, man. Mm, under the so sea. That, so that you, you, you know, make people think, say, the wire there, I see. They didn't go shut me down. Like, you know, because you know, this, this is like the, the, the station of the nation. So, mm -hmm. uh, I believe maybe if government wants to even do that theory to get us, you know, well, you know, uh, disciplined. Maybe government one day could do that here, and at least if everybody want to listen to some people, for listen to GTV. Because at least that, that, that way we'll have like some, you know, f disciplined frame of mind more. Because the abuse on the internet is too much. What has shocked you about the level of abuse on the internet, man? You know, the way people are so naive about, you know, the opportunities on the internet and how they can, you know, create life for themselves out of it. Many Ghanaians don't know the ease of the internet. The only thing you have to go and comment, like like one of my friends, when Facebook came, you know, when you post a picture, people say, people go and like, you know, so he heard it and, you know, he also went on the internet, registered Facebook, and Kafu they posted his picture, he went to the comment and wrote, like, oh, yeah, I like, you know, he doesn't understand the, you know, internet, so, <laughs> so it's crazy like that, like, so I, I think most Ghanaians still feel the internet before, like insults, you know, mm. yeah, because, you check certain places. I have some friends in Sweden, mm -hmm. you know, and in that area, you know, they really, they regard internet model, who be the best, who be the, because they all wake up and go and work.
when they come back, maybe check, maybe classmates, you know, they are not that's so how they much. Use it. Yeah, that's how they use it. Like, you know, apart from businesses and stuff, they are not so much of who be this guy, who yeah. what he go post, and so what. what? Yeah, what he buy, you know, that kind of thing. They are not interested in that. But here, I think Africa has been been washed, you know, around how internet should be used for. And I, I, I always tell people that before opportunity, you understand me? White man who just create internet. He, he created it for us to, you know, really connect and, you know, do business and go up in a certain direction. But uh, if I know for when I internet for here, yeah, every day, shelter do this, this person do this, this you know, and it's, it's crazy for, you know. Are you far. immune to people talking about you now? Uh, well, you know, I feel like it has been part of my life now. So I, I just see I'm like, oh, normal. You know, because nowadays I defeat somebody we uh, maybe will talk in negative about Shatawale and I just go and like, you know? <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah, I yeah. do that sometimes also. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me some rotter, go and I say thank you, have a good day. <laughs> You know, I didn't pay the person. Yeah, the person is, ah, why? You don't, you don't feel paid. No, because you didn't blow me. No. Yeah, you just yeah. wasted your bundle. Thank you. You think people are, <laughs> you think people are kind of provoke you to come out? You get that feeling? Eh, you know, I feel people think, say, to get attention, they first say, I, I use some format mm -hmm. to get attention on the internet. So they always want to use that same format as me because they know, say, I'll come back. That's why nowadays when people do something on the internet, I don't even respond again because mm -hmm. I've gone from a musician to an artist, you know, who has built an institution, you know. So I, I, I see certain things and I go like, no. But then I get like business partners that they talk to. I get like, you know, whole lot of like grown up men that I, you know, vibe to about business and stuff like that. So sometimes they even send me, the people I do business with send me videos and go like, well, why were you pressed here? I'm like, this is our culture, you know, sometimes you have to hit the assistance. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You know, I got my friends that somebody watch my internet videos and they laugh about it. And growing up, I've seen that now. People feel, say, okay, let's trigger him for him to come and talk. Mm. So now it is, I see some and I don't talk because I know the idea was this. So the intent. Yeah. You can see the intent. Yeah. 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 You know, so. You've been talking about opportunities on the internet. Mm. When did you wake up to the realization that, well, this YouTube. This Twitter thing, mm. you know, be joke. Mm. When did you wait? Can you just take us back to that time when you realized that this was big? Okay, I, I think um, at age 21, uh, I don't know if I can really get the dates well, but okay, so I go, I remember 1999 was a year I was troubling my dad to go to London. Okay. And that year. What do you want to go do for that? My, my, my grandma did it and then she liked me. Okay. But then, you know, my father too, they do like, no, don't worry, finish. Cause I said, no, I want to go and come back, you know, that kind of thing. So that time I go already, but I don't enjoy. You go to London? Yeah. Where so, you go? Um, so, so I go to London like at the age of 14, mm -hmm. where I can go um, 16 mm -hmm. after my birthday. And I remember, so um, then 99, I was about one something. You're going to be 40 this year? Yeah. Yeah. So we can always... Yeah. Yeah. The no, my forty, my forty, my forty memory is going to be sweet. Very, yes. very, very we'll right. talk about that very soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you went to London two, three times. Yeah. So yeah. as I go, um, as I, um, I tell my father, I say I won't go there. And, you know, so as I go there, I say my cousins they use something like you know, like computer. You know, mm -hmm. if they open them, they write Google, Yahoo. I say, so I study one. I say no. What is this? And it start explaining to me and things. Because me, I've been inquisitive. The time CD even come, mm -hmm. the way they shine. Mm -hmm. My friend in Nigeria, he would say, what did they say they play music? I say, ah, ah, ah. Wow. Because you're a cassette guy. Yeah. <laughs> so as I come back from London, like, I was always on the internet. Yeah. Like, checking, you know, sometimes I ask myself some funny things that I check. You know, how does a ball look like? How do you make a ball? How do you make this? So I grew up from that. So from that time, there are no internet. My father said, the first day he say, I connect internet for one house. It shocks more. But it seems like, ah, you know, oh, how did you do this? And my brother, you know, it's a little bit too no small. As he came and said, like, oh, like, like you, like you, like you. And a yahoo. Like me. You take the you know from your daddy. I like. Yeah, I don't know, a little bit. <laughs> so that's where I started from. So I started educating myself from the internet, like long way back. So as, you know, I just get close to where I first said I needed internet more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was when I was on the streets and I was like, no, then I leave home and everything. I was like, no, let me concentrate on this whole thing. So I started registering my accounts, you know, from High Five, you know, to... Uh, do you do MySpace? 
MySpace. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, you know, I was all. Yeah, on you there. were there, man. Yeah, and I, I got like fans too from that side. You know, like London girls or American girls mm -hmm. with the light dance all music that time. So, anytime I post something, sometimes they even send me money. So you're posting money, your, your music on those places, yeah. platforms. Yeah. Some of those tracks still yeah. there. No, okay, my space is gone now, but yeah. on the old high five and things. Yeah. So I, I I researched for an account that or let me say a website that you could load your songs. Mm -hmm. So I got this media media fire. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's when I started loading my songs. What was, the, like, what was the first song you loaded, man? Can you remember? I don't know. I beg. I beg. I beg. I beg. I beg. I beg. I first song. You go hard. First song. First song. You go hard. Because I, I had songs. Like the songs from school, you know, songs I recorded with some engineers. I remember the Veg Studios somewhere in Zongo Junction, uh -huh. Maron Studios somewhere around them, um, Latibi Okoshi, um, you know, Market, that side. Yeah. yeah. I want a lot of songs, so I will just load them. Just they load the songs. Yeah, and people they love. I'm like, you know what? If you get somebody, if you call me, because my man, my number two did it. Mm -hmm. so somebody if you call me, the, yo man, you some Jamaican, no gosh, no that. So somebody send me money every time. Really? Yeah. So and what were you called then? Bandana. How do you get the name? Bandana. There's a lady who, one of our production assistants, she came here wearing a bandana around her. And I said it's because of Shatta where you wear this bandana. Eh, she, well, <laughs> baby, she's in love. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Where do you get a name from, Bandana? Oh, so Bandana, I used to like tie, you see the way I tie my yeah, yeah, like this, yeah. I used to do it in school. Okay. So after school, you know, a boy, I was a boy for a while, so he, he was like, you know, make a change, you know, if I won't come out, I forget name, you know. Because then you were just using Charles Nyama or what? No, using Doggy. Doggy? Mm. Who said, mm? The animal? Which Doggy animal? Uh, Woof. Yeah. Okay. You know? I don't know. Is this a GTD response or this? So is I got that name from Yogi Doggy. Okay, right. you know our past. You know that's okay, all. I, okay, you know, okay. So you're a doggy first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I was using that, but I was like, no. You know, say I like Yogi. You know, and Yogi is like a legend to me. I was mm -hmm. always looking up to him, and you know, mm -hmm. I was like, no, I should change. So I watch my hand. The way I take the bandana, wrist myself, and put my head. I said, then we'll go for bandana. So you named yourself. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. Doggy to you named yourself. Doggy to I named myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you were dropping the songs on? On online. On online. online. How people were, were people were it. like, you know, they wanted more. So I was okay. always recording, you know. And those times, if I know they play beats. So I they go studio, go worry the engineers, then they send me that, do it, then they send me that. So gradually, you know, my market started opening. And that's why I saw that I had a huge fan base in the UK. Up to now, I said, hey, I get fans for UK way. They want fans too now, and Shatawali fans too can enter. So, the internet really has helped me so much. You know, sometimes when I'm on, you know, online and I talk about it, people think I'm bragging. But mm -hmm. you know, I've met so much or so many opportun opportunities on the internet, and I would say, I wish the people know how happy I am. You know, to really find my path, and, and you know, find a way to make life. You know, for myself. Were you? Always on the musical track to become a musician. I mean, is that what you wanted to do from the earliest? Or yeah, you from, had other plans? From scratch, you know, from scratch. How early is this scratch? Five years old? Six? Oh, from, yeah, I think um, from like eight, nine. Then I still say, I won't do music. But then I was so young. So yeah. dad, you know, kept telling me, school, school, school. What did your dad want you to, to be? Okay, my dad wanted me to be a lawyer and a pilot because he couldn't be a pilot, you know. He wanted to be a pilot, but mm -hmm. he couldn't. But, so he told me, so I said, oh, cool. So I watch like pilot movies, okay. you know, yeah. Okay. Did you like science? Yeah, I love science. You know, even though it was very difficult yeah. for me, yeah, but I, I remember saying science that they do well for inside. Mm -hmm. As I even, you know, get opportunities to go to the uh, senior high, mm -hmm. you know, my that administration was like, no, I should do science. Mm -hmm. But in my mind, you know, it wasn't science. It wasn't science. Yeah, you know, so I think my dad really... He wanted uh, you to be a pilot yeah, and a lawyer. Yeah. Why the law side, though? Um, Because... My father, he seemed like I'd be outspoken. Mm -hmm. mm, and like, and the, I'd be too confident. Sometimes me and my sister go feel problems here for us. They feel, the way I'm feeling right now for my father. My father, he was like, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. He convinced me that. Yeah, you know, so <laughs> I was like, yeah. You know, but later, you know, I, I felt the calling. Like, you know, the music was eating me up. Okay. You know, I used to, so my dad didn't make me go out from like a certain age to a certain age. and. Mm -hmm. Anytime I want to write songs or I want to write something, I hear things in my head. So I started writing in my room, you know. On so the wall? I, yeah, on the wall in my room. Like, I had a big room, you mm -hmm. know, my own. It was a story building, so mm -hmm. I had, like, the second floor to myself. Penthouse? Yeah. Kind of. So I did write everywhere, like. So I started writing things even into the future, you know. Like I remember, like, writing things like 
you buy your own houses, you know, own your own businesses. Like declarations? Yeah, like oh, I was, wow, yeah, and wow. it was all coming from God, like, you know, so the thing that eats me up our way, you know, just a little broken home made, made, made me live home and, you know, just... Mommy came, and daddy split. Yeah, you know, that was how I came How did that me. make you feel when they split up? I didn't like it though, because, you know, because I remember the last meeting my dad had with us was he wanted us to leave Ghana and go and stay in Miami. You know, because then you get some, you know, say, if they do plants, if you go to National Theater, mm -hmm. some plants they the back there, mm -hmm. they some container. Mm -hmm. And my dad way, they go, you know, put them for the, those times, you know, because he was in the NDC government, you know, and stuff. So he had all those opportunities, but he said he, he had to go and do a, a project in Miami. So he wanted all of us to go stay there. So me then my dream. So yeah, at least we we'll go Miami because now they watch Michael Jackson too too much. Yeah man. Yeah. Which be your favorite Michael Jackson song, man? <laughs> bad, I'm bad. I'm bad. Yeah, 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 I'm bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the video concept and yeah, everything. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. I did that. He, he, that's it. No, if I go America, there, then me say I can be the Michael Jackson. You go film walk? No, I don't film walk. <laughs> so I for bad that that shoe. You don't get a glove one way. If the, you know, say always oh, when I wear gloves, yeah. like. That is how I feel like. Okay. <laughs> I feel like, you know, a Jaku Wako, yeah, you know, somebody ready to take up the world and, you know, so. When he died, where were you? Do you remember? When he died, I think I was in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, and I felt very bad, you know. You did, huh? Yeah. He touched me because, you know, Michael Jackson was like somebody like I looked up to when I was growing up, you know, and yeah, sometimes if you watch the way they sing and people they fall and stuff yeah. like that, yeah. I know sometimes people will say, oh, Michael, did it, you know, package everything for arm, did they do arm stance, you mm -hmm. know, make people feel like, but I felt, you know, that guy was a spirit. Like the way in the dance hall world, I'll see Vibes Cartel. Mm -hmm. You know, I see Vibes Cartel like Michael Jackson, you know. Sometimes we have this kind of people in the world that you know go fear understand them until they will go. die. Yeah, mm -hmm. because um, he, he, he some, some, like I don't know me, I get the eye to see, yeah. hey, when I see somebody be special, like yeah. I, I see him. So I see Michael Jackson, in a special way for you know my music life yeah you know yeah and he changed music man music videos and, and every, every in the whole world you know even the way that you know if i check the music more because those that my dad they, they fight with me for music so if i check the music more i check the money they might say ah, sorry, I'm on you. <laughs> seriously yeah but i found out that you know being yourself also makes you move far in life too you know because michael even though people they talk, oh, they make him bleach, they make it. He was himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, and one time I watched an interview where he say they, they taking kitty like in childhood life away from mom. So yeah. from age five, you know, get friends, you know, yeah. and that is me. Yeah, and my father, I know, make me to go party those things. He was so disciplined that you know we we were at home constantly. So I think sometimes when I watch him, I see you know I get this you know side of him. Mm. You know, so uh, you identify with Michael Jackson big time. Like very well, you know. Sometimes you know, I call myself half cousin and people will be laughing. But is they, that, they don't know. Yeah, it's that mindset that I, I, I see. I get something where, if like, for Ghana here, if we hold down well, because mm -hmm. yeah, for instance, I, I, go, I know if we do easily go, then I will get called because say Beyonce won't feature you. It was crazy for me. I was like, ah, yeah. It's because I was thinking like Michael Jackson. It's because I had this like dream. That's how come th that call came true. Take us back to that time. Uh -huh. Who called you? Who exactly called you? Okay, so you know my dad in America, Leslie, um, of Fantasy Dome Entertainment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he owns the Fantasy Dome. So anytime I go to America, like he's my dad and everything, he's mm -hmm. been taking good care of me. So one time I was in a studio, like around 2 a.m., and he called and I was like, Me, I have good news for you. I said, oh, like, because any good news he has is maybe he's buying me something or, you know, he's shopping here. He's like, no, this one is the best news ever in your life. I said, oh, daddy. Said, okay, hold on. I want you to speak to blah, blah, blah. That's Beyonce's, you know, team. I'm like, daddy, <laughs> for somebody who is Beyonce, you. <laughs> Stop that. Because as I sleep right now, the person, the last person in my life is Vibes Cartel. You know, I love that, so I want to meet Vibes Cartel, you know. So that's the only artist I've, I've been thinking about. So as Beyonce, I was like, huh. Beyonce, Jay Z, why Beyonce? It kept you. You scream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking know, like, yeah, Jesus Christ, no, I don't believe this. You are not in the room, you are not in the room, you are not in the studio. Where you scream? That is sweat. You the sweat. So I actually saw a missed call from Chris Connor from Ghana. 
You know, yes, Chris, I was, yeah. Yeah, we Chris, meaning you call me like I can't like I can't believe it. Yeah, but this thing is like like play like play sing song, I listen to the song as ah. So I have a song in my like files right now. So I, I open the phone and listen, I say, hey. So she actually sang this, sent it to me. They gave me some lines to say like you had to stop him and say, no, 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 no. So I'm like, hey. Shine oh, already. I, man, I'm going to blow for a little like you. <laughs> I was like, hey. So I, I didn't believe her until I met her. And so they get they, they give the space for you to sing it to it. Yeah. They give me a space for yeah, me to man. sing to, and add like what. So uh, remember who you are. Oh, oh sh I wrote that part. Yeah. You know, yeah. all that part to the end, you know. And, cool. You know, it was crazy. And where, where, you where you record that one for? For your studio? For, for, so I recorded it in Ghana. In Ghana. Yeah, so, and we sent the vocals. They okay. mastered and everything, sent right. it to us for us to check if we liked it. Oh, they, yeah. they asked for your feedback? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. No, right. no. And, like, you know, white people, they know how to, like, receive talent and treat you. So well, some black people do also know how to do that. So make it no generalize. Yeah, but, some but, black but, people too. Yeah, but black See, people, professional but, people know how to receive yeah, talent. But okay, professional. Yeah, because <laughs> if you come to, like, this side, like, if you see black, like, Ghana, no, black, like, we be. This thing. But good idea. Good time. Good time. Shut up. You know, because the way she received me on the first day. The you, meet, you, you went to meet her? You yeah, her? In, yeah, in New York. Mm -hmm. we, shot, we shot a video in New York. Mm -hmm. We shot one for Brooklyn and then the other one for some around, you know, far from the Times Square, that, where I stayed. Yeah. I stayed in yeah. Manhattan there, yeah. so some area like that. And we shot the first thing there, came to shoot the other one at Brooklyn. It was so wonderful. What like, was Beyonce like? I mean, meeting her, what's she like in person? Beyonce is like, um, you know, when I met her, she looked like a normal African, you know, chick. Because she didn't even call me like, shut up, you know. Mm -hmm. Hello, Shata, how are you? Because before I went there, I was even, you know, angry a little bit. Yes. Yeah, because my team, you know, no prepare like <laughs> something. So I, so I just, so I just got there and I say, yeah, hello, you say hello, Shata, how are you? I heard Boulevard, you know, but just take your time, you're home now, anything you need. I said, as you talk to me, finish. Then come and says this, if you need, I go out again, go scream. <laughs> I don't, I don't you don't believe. believe. You, you don't pinch yourself. And Blue Ivy was there. Like, the doctor was there. And Pekin was there too. So I was like, hey, what, what kind of thing that happened? They go, the test said, we did kill me. say, we well, shoot some scene that they stand there and come. Do you like it? If you don't like anything, tell me so I can kill you. So we there. I was like, be, be crying. I'm going to feel that. I'm going to You teach us a small guy. Yeah. I hope you took us some guy, man. Guy, no, no, guy, I don't teach you. Or tree. No, tree, I don't. Or pitch. So the only thing we discuss about mm -hmm. is. You know, she was asking me how Africa was, you yeah. know, and I was telling her about, you know, how beautiful Ghana is. But yes. she should come to Ghana yeah, and everybody loves her here. And she was like, okay, you know, we go come back. They come um South Africa before he and his husband, but she will try and come. I said, no, if you come, I just introduce him to our president. Because, you know, people from the president level down, everybody loves her. And she yeah. was like, okay, you go come. Later we, we see me and take some picture. Yeah. Later we in our request, say, make we take picture. Oh. Yeah, you know. So you go scream again, you go scream again. The picture, I said, I said, let me put it up on my top and, you know, that won't smell. So as he shake me and just, I know Baffle, like one week for America. <laughs> so I started sitting right now, you know, I look like Jay-Z. So. <laughs> Did you meet Jay-Z? Did you meet Jay-Z? I didn't meet, but I told her I wanted to meet Jay-Z. Of course. Though. Yeah, of she course. said, anytime I'm, I'm in America, you know, she could create that for me. Do you know why they picked you? Did you ever ask anybody why you and not anybody else? Okay. When she saw me, she said, I loved your vocals. And I didn't want to be on that song with anybody. So as you talk about my vocals, so I said, no, I have white people from South Africa who have told me about my vocals before. I have like people from America I meet for meetings where they tell me about my vocals. So I said, no, I said, hey. So that is what she told me. Press that, that she loved your vocals. Yes. Yeah. When she heard my vocals, she was like, I'm not going to be on this track with anybody. It's just me and you, Shata. I'm like, hey. So the album, like, even me, literally, we in and me do song alone, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I felt so happy about it, because me, myself, I'm so careful about my vocals, you know? And that boy, if I had a good stage sometimes, they make some reflex, they make sure my mics, they tune them well, you know, my monitors on stage and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when she told me, I was like, no, that is, that is, that, that is deep, because, um, and apart from that, so, as you talk about my vocal, mm -hmm. I go some reflex, the times I flex these xylophone, where mm -hmm. I will give some memory verses. Mm -hmm. 
Chapter memory verse. Five. Yes, like Bible verses that you know. You I was Kai song. You feel Kai song. Yeah, well, like the one that have like the tattoo here. Like, okay, so this is uh, P four nineteen. P four nine. What is it? Philippians ah, four verse nineteen. About the young people, right? No. What is it? Tell me. Can you my, remember? My God shall supply all my needs mm -hmm. according to His riches and glory mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus. Amen. And I have like some thirty-two verse, verse eight that says. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I shall guide, I shall guide you with my eye. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that also on your body somewhere? No, I'm about to do that one. Okay, yeah. where are you going for? No, my stomach, I'll do it. But I have some 35 years. But some 35 is one of my longest scriptures that okay. anytime I'm worried, you know, I open it and read and, you know, people, you know, so I, I they teach my fans what some 35 is. It's, it's, a, it's a weapon that, you know, you know, shields you from life, you mm -hmm. know, attacks you know mm -hmm. so that one at the read i'm concerned sometimes if you take bath you know me i i be the only friend within my friends wait if you tear bible for the my phones like some 35 put for water so come small and go and bath and it's hey, no no fear on it but i said no it's just the, the, a bible somebody printed it it's a man that printed it but it's a word that i want i want the word of god to be in me why so did they fear say so you did desecrate the bible by tearing it yeah if you say and you see that is why i say it's everybody in their belief, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not advising anybody to go into mm -hmm. a Bible, but I, I had that that direction from God way back. I used to hold like the New Testament in my pocket, you know, they walk around with them. If I go see the blue one, yeah, the blue one. Yeah, if yeah. I go see somewhere, she say, you oh, know, life no good small. And if he see some 35 and fold them, then put them for my gum, you know, then just they walk around. So it is soak. So now it's so, it's so you soak the word. Yeah, it's so good. I know see the ink you know be good though, but you know, I just want him to know that I want I want to like, you know, have that, you know, confidence spirit in me. So I did boost myself always. So some thirty five has been like my guide in life. You know. So I think those are the memory verses that she heard and after the video shoot, in team can tell me say they say they won't make her say that on camera again. So mm. yeah, yeah, that's why I found out that like like she's very close to come from. I think God go call him to me. He can't help in Kidi for Ghana. He sends on Kidi for Ghana. Jesus Christ, but this one black guy. He did suffer for you too much. So I think that, that's, that brought the connection. It's nine thirty one. I'm having a great time here. Just a chat between with me and Shatawale, mm. and I'm sure our message board is buzzing <laughs> with lots of messages. But let's talk some more mm. before. So between the time it took about let me say two months. Mm -hmm. As we, we do the song finish, mm -hmm. yeah, it took about two months, and um, mm -hmm. you know after we had to, they had to drop the song, mm -hmm. and it took a year for us to shoot a video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was when I saw that no music business, it no be like easy like that, mm -hmm. you know, because if a whole Beyonce can wait for a year before shooting a video, they you have to know like they they really got plans. So know? do you have songwriting credits on that song? Yes, yes. Wow. Yes, yes. And I have like, you know, a percentage in there too as well. So my royalty is too. It's doing well. Yeah, it's doing well. <laughs> Congratulations, man. <laughs> thank you. Thank so you. The, the, the vocals, is it what you say or like the sound of your voice? When they say they love your vocals, what is it? I think the sound, like the way my voice sounds, you know, okay. some, some people, I meet like some white people mm -hmm. and when we working with them, they tell me, I love your husky voice. Mm -hmm. You have this husky voice mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. you know, looks rich. And yeah. sometimes uh, I think that is what has helped me, you know, so much too. And then there was a transition from Bandana to, to Shatawale. Mm. Those years, where did you go? <laughs> Those years, I was, I, was, I, was, I was in the wilderness, you know? Cause like John, eating locusts and wild honey, like, like John the Baptist? Because mm, the room I sleep with on lizard there, so I said, no. Until, every six o'clock, they can't come out in tail for the room there. I don't think, it, it, it agreed to your wife? I, I don't know, see, my friend, I don't know, see, lizard friend, you know? So from Bandana to Shatawale, from after bandana i went down down so much that it took me 10 years what were you doing in those 10 years oh, i was trying to do something so that's why I, I started learning how to play beats and stuff you know mm -hmm. i was in a room for like let me say like six years i don't know if you go out how you the chop uh by the grace of god by the grace of god, because that time i don't know how and if you get money, so if you maybe some of my friends if you come my body way if you can chop some money i chop something small when I don't see any friend, I don't eat. So sometimes if I get small money, if you buy a guy, you know, and sugar, then I get some milk too small. Then I say milk, fridge for the, but if you keep the guy okay. around, uh, the water day fridge inside, is the pure water plain. So yeah, anytime, man. no, I just pour small, manage myself, no, sleep, wake up, you know. 
I had some girls that were also like, you know, supporting me small, small, you know, but it wasn't easy like, you know, that. Like I was suffering so much, you know. So who was who was your close friend then at that time? In those lean wilderness times? You know, see me I, I, the only best friend I ever got was my dad and God. Cause I me, mean, I get friends for school with those days, they seem like how come me every day, you know, because then uh, that I be too much, you know, if you come phone and if you bring phone come. So I had that thing from school. I saw friends that were envying stuff for it. So I didn't want to take a, to them. A, yeah, a, a best friend from school. So I didn't have any best friend from school so into real life. So in real life, when I meet you and you don't really, you know, gel with me, and, and because I know, say, you go feed do me our mm. yeah, so. I never had no close friend, but I had friends coming to me. And all those friends that came to me, Bandana time, all left me, you know? All of them. Yeah, because they come, I come out, I go show, right now, show they come again. You know, this one can come to me and say, Charlie, my mother say we they grow. So I said, but man, you don't grow. Why about your job? But no catch anywhere. Mm -hmm. Then they leave me, and this one leave me. So they all left me, and it was left with me and my girlfriend, and we had to go through the struggle, left where I was staying. Now I couldn't pay rent, so I need to go and stay with my girlfriend, you know, in their family house, you know. Did that make you feel bad? Very, very bad, very, very bad. The way they punched my mouth one day, I had to go do to know. The way they punched me, like, pop. The way blood I said, wow, that's very nice. Yeah, you have to look for your house quickly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, motivation, yeah. eh? Otherwise, it will kill you. Yeah. You <laughs> Who know? punched you like that? <laughs> my girl, my, my girl, brother, by the, that time, my ex girl. You know, then they, you know, then my girl said, if they see me like Charlie, life finish, you know. So it's not even the fight and they curse me and stuff like that, you know. I'm not going to see better things, but thank God today, you know, I take good care of her, but there's a couple of cars, you know. It'd be house we are on by forever. Right now, they pay because it's my big mother, so I'm paying rent and things. She's a leave estate, you know. And so that she, if you watch me, I say, Junior, I'm a I said, No, I still love you, man. You just didn't understand what was happening there, yeah, because it was crazy for me, like, very crazy. The time I go stay the family as well, I say, Hey, life, like, I finish. Because I know that if you get 100 Ghana safe hold for my body, like, mm. it was like some curse like that. But, you know, me, I like research. Like, if we have to go, like, deep into conversations, like, I will let you know, like, I read my zodiac signs a lot. What, October be what? Libra. Okay. Yeah, so I read, like, my horoscope a lot. Like, I'm very good at it, you know. So sometimes I can decide not to go out, like, three weeks, one month, I'll be in the house, no driving. And people will even get shot. So my friends, if you can pick me now, they sit down. They, me, I know they drive. Because I came to study that from Bandana to Shatawali, there was a particular planet that was running through my star sign. Mm -hmm. And that planet, it runs through people's lives. It might take 12 years. Some people's own take 30 years. Some people's own might take maybe six months, one year. So when you're lucky and you get that planet running through and you know about it, you did briefing like you did relax. Because you know say go pass. Yeah. And your your period was how long? My own was like it gave me like nine years. Okay. And then and then and then what what came out? That's what came. So that was how I was going through all those things. Because uh -huh, uh -huh. if I play music, nobody, nobody wants it. Yeah. If I play music, nobody wants it. I said, ah. so, you know, in some you know African mentality, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, Charlie, someone, they do you. They do you, Charlie, they take you. So that's where I advise most of my friends that sometimes you you know yourself so that when certain things are happening to you, you know how to handle them. I was reading and feeling bad at the same time, but I was like, eh, nine years. Chat. Nine years. Because I saw it, like, yeah, you know, I yeah, read from a book. Yeah, my yeah. dad bought me my first astrology book when I was 14 years. Mm. So I've read astrology, like, all my life. That is why I know God more. You know, I tell my friends that the three wise men in the Bible are not three wise men. They are astrologers. They study uh, all uh, astronomy, the study of the, you know, the universe. Mm. So those who were astrologers. But they've hidden a whole lot of things from mankind that if you don't, like, if you're not careful, you live this life and believe that there is no God. But there is a God that has sent people to guide you and show you the path. So sometimes I listen, I pray to God, and the next time I can open my astrology book and says, you are about to enter into another phase of life where life will be. Before I'll be getting money. Ah, so nice. I don't know how. I say, hey, hey, this is very nice. Like, you know, because I, 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 I have read about it. And the books today? It, it, it did, like I didn't read, not, not the book alone, that's right, that, that, right that's now I mean, book. okay, so if I go to America or UK, mm -hmm. I go to the bookshop and buy them, mm -hmm. so then I go be a Jupiter, <laughs> go bookshop, go buy, the, 
one of our books they say hey Charlie me both you know magic and I'm a Janibia so you see the mindset of astrology is that they brainwash Africans to believe that it's demonic magic, yeah. yeah but if you know that there are people that are studying the stars the stars and the moon are not just there for light mm. reason for this yes every, every, each and every one of us has the nine planets or how many planets we have ruling us so if you study what your planet is how your life is what your date of birth is you can live this life and you know people will see you like a magician like me when people are seeing me like oh shut up they go go down and I say ah no you don't know my ruling planet my ruling planet comes with popularity it comes with fame it comes with and then so you know they shock you yeah so me if i go out and people are loving me i say i'm like i i know you know yeah so was it dance or king that did it that put you back okay that's okay yeah make you hear a little bit that's our king that oh god the girl that my link in a little shot of movement in that oh god when he make a stick yeah you play that song i play the beat you saw that <laughs> see so i don't play that beat you know i play that beat me my bro I don't know those guys for the video inside. Yeah, that's my colleague on that says, you know, that's like um, double T, you know, with the squad. And they came to support me. And this time, all day, I want to get anything, but, you know, I had my boys, you know, from Nima, you know, we came together to, you know, bring this dream up, you know. And it was crazy, you know. The time I entered Nima, I thought, my boy, we are going to stay in there, my cousin. Then we didn't know. We're just friends on the street. So we lit makers. They, they don't, they don't, it's all they are beat makers. But you know, when it comes, actually, if they feel you, and, you know, and, you know, like when I play this song, like I was so happy. Yeah, I was like, hey. So the time the songs are hitting, like people weren't aware until, you know, after Ghana Music Awards, mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. uh, everybody, you know, head of dance talking. And I respect this song so much. Because I, I felt the time after my, you know, ten year. You know, yeah, this this was a song that you know brought me out like boldly, you know, and we messed I, up. I hear I hear that you write a phenomenal um, number of songs mm. like in a day or in a week. I mean, yeah, <laughs> how many how many songs do you write, man? So I mean, last night I did like four songs <laughs> before this morning. Four you know? songs. Yeah, because because I played a beat myself uh -huh. and you know so so like in a month I can say I got like. Maybe seventy-five to hundred. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I, you know, apart from maybe I have my boys here, like Solage, Dread. Uh -huh. Apart from me talking to them uh -huh. and talking to them, flex uh -huh. or calling medical. Apart from that, I want to record. You are just focused on the music. Yeah, if if I'm stressed, 
I want to be with my girl, you know, have some fun, come back to music. And come and work. Yeah. How many people are in your team? The, the Shutter team? The shut no, the Shutter team is a big team. You know, I'm they, not talking about the movement, though. Yeah. Just your core team that are with you, who do your work, your messages, your, your running around, your emails, your, your, in that team. You know, my team has grown bigger now. I could say, like, I have, like, you know, a 30-man, you know, team. Because I have people playing different roles around me. You know, apart from the music, I have my businesses that I want people to take care of. So some people take care of, like, my shaxi business, which is my transportation, my real estate, you know. You know, I have, like, some apartments that, you know, I bought in town that people also manage for me. And, you know, apart from some flex, also taking care of my music side and everything. So is it? It's a huge thing for me, and sometimes I even feel bad for myself that I'm still talking to people as, as of now. Mm -hmm. So recently, Sammy was telling me we should get somebody to just take care of everything yeah. and not be sleeping. Because yeah. he knows. When I came out, I was even telling me, I saw your tweet this morning. I said, like, Yeah, you know. I you know. want to engage, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I just, I, I feel like that has been my life, yeah. and you know, and you can't leave it. Yeah, yeah. and it's always bringing me money too, you know. Yeah. And that's the most important mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, so I feel like. You know, that is, that, is, that is how the music life has been for me. I want to read some messages, but I want to do a tattoo tour. Mm. So just explain some of the tattoos that I can see. <laughs> this one be what? Okay, so this one is SM for Life. SM for Life? Yeah. Okay. This one is Things and Reasons. Things and, and reasons. reasons. Yeah. Okay, any reason for this thing? Um, I have a song titled Things and Reasons. Right. Yeah, you know, it goes like, I see the things and reasons. I know the things they would never know. Okay. Yeah, you know, and I have like... Uh, the, SM. Yeah, this is a symbol of hope for the shutter movement. SM for life. So most of the youths have this on their arms, on their chest. Like like mm. a sergeant's? Yeah, mark. but it's the sign itself. You know, like when I go on stage, I do like this. What's it so, doing? So that's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. the Trinity, mm -hmm. you know. And so I always want to impact that. Like when I hold my hands like this, mm -hmm. it shows, to yeah, yeah, you know, it shows like the symbol of hope. That's why I've, I've named it, you okay. know. So when you see it, you know, like, God is here. Like, you know, the three letters are even G-O-D. Oh, yeah. You know, so I create, like, a whole lot of things out of the fingers, yeah. There's one on your right side of your neck. What's uh, that? So I have my, my daughter's name is Shira. Okay. And I have Majesty, too. I think uh, Majesty is okay. here. Yeah, Shira is okay. here, yeah. And then around your neck, yeah, that's a Prove Them Wrong. Prove Them Wrong? Yeah, you know, I did a song, you know, the song you were playing before I came here. So okay. that's, like... I did this in London. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then on your left arm? On my left arm, this is Wale with a king's crown. Oh, okay. Yeah, and this is 3 p.m. It was 419. Uh, and I have only God here. Uh -huh. I think uh, MDK. And I think I have... MDK is medical? Yeah, medical. What yeah. is medical doing on your arm? Yeah, and I have the ego too here as well. Yeah, why, why yeah. does the medical have a space on your arm? Well, you know, I felt this connection with him some time ago, and that, that has really... Um, gotten me so close to him. You know, I feel America is the only Ghanaian musician like that I've made. Like, like we've crossed paths and we've made like some good. Apart from money, mm -hmm. the relationship is there. Yeah, I don't speak to any Ghanaian artists, and you know they listen to the direction. Mm -hmm. But America listens to my directions, and it's working for him. Okay, you know, because sometimes he can go, he can go for like shows, or he gets like stuff he wants to discuss with me. Like personal, you know, music business, you know, and when I tell him it works, like, you know, we just make money. He like, listens to you. Yeah, he listens. Like, Does he argue with you sometimes? When I'm doing something that is not right, he tells me. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. What yeah, was yeah, the yeah. last thing you did that wasn't right that he told you? I was trying to tell him that I want to go on live and say something, and I was like, don't even forget your much, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, and I like when people are like, Check you. Wake me up like that, yeah, or check me like that. You know, I go like, oh, okay. And then my friend doesn't like this, you know. So I have like some close relationship. So it's a good, it's a good influence on you. Last night, one a.m., mm -hmm. I was with him and left him and came back to my apartment to come and record. Six seventeen. Yeah, and, and slept at six seventeen. <laughs> Last tattoo, that's one on your cheeks. That's, you take, that, that's I, God. Can you take your glasses off? Like yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. God over there. Yeah, God, and I have like spirits and secrets. Okay, another song. No, that is, you know, that's me. Like, you Spirits know, and secrets. Like things I see. Yeah. You know. So what do they see now? Why do they see me? As you, as I see you. I call my eyes too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, I don't, I don't, I don't go feel lie, uh -huh. but I, I'm not like yet seeing what God is. Revealed to me. Yeah, but to I, I, and if you, and if you see things okay. into the future. All right. I have a song that you know I teleport. You know, like right. so when I say people will look like. Okay, but you are not a pastor, but why are you talking like that? But no, 
God didn't only bless the pastor to come and see into your life or see what they go around you. Like, I did, I did feel things and it did happen. Yeah. And he blessed Shatter too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. I'll go read the messages. Okay. Yeah. Come on. 055 556 1034. I'm going to read the messages right now. Ah, a lot of messages. Hmm. King of Dance Hall, please. Do you still hear from Don Boss? I remember when you guys rolled together, Don Boss. Yeah, Don Boss, that's, that's, his name is Don Boy in Latin America. Shaka yeah. is just a pure hearted soul. He feels free and confident to talk when interviewed. He's a, to he's a whole tourism. <laughs> SF for life, we for visit you. <laughs> good morning. Uh, this is, uh, oh, so many messages. Young Money from Accra. Hi, good morning. Please tell Shaka, I always wanted to be like him. I really love him. I'm always fighting for God bless him. You. God bless. Uh, GTV, big ups to Shaka Wale. Can you please? Uh, ask him why he finds it difficult to work with someone for a very long time. Is it true that you find it difficult to work with people for That's a long time? That's why he's heard from the media. That's why he's heard from the people. <laughs> That's all. Country boss, never give up because a lot look up to you. Much love from Western North. Thank you. Good morning, Kafuya. I knew Shatawale when he used to come to Latopi or Koshi. In fact, I break my head and I got my... I broke my head, I got my leg broke my leg broken because of the love I have for Shatter. Uh, I got my thesis delayed due to Shatter's <laughs> nice performance I attended. I love Shatter Pass and I hope to be blessed today for his charitable money he gives to the youth. Oh, so this is like a, a setup for uh, a give up. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, good Thank morning. You. They just say good morning. Greetings, Shatter. Much love. Uh, 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 from who? From who? Let's see. From Niger guys in Ghana. You're really killing it. Your vibe, your personality, your vocals, your words are inspiring. Yeah. More grace. More messages. Yeah. Be live, oh. Yeah. yeah, man. Wow, wow, this is Sammy wow, Logan from Awashi. Please tell Shata Wale that his dressing today is out of this world. Too dope to fathom. <laughs> uh, hi, Shata. I love Shata. I have a poem for him. Like, if I put a poem for him, yeah, I'm going to read that. Oh, oh. Put a poem. Opportunities. <laughs> Shata, please. We still want to see you and Don Boss. Yeah. Uh, nice to see Shata in the studio. Shata, uh, he heard that you are related to Stone in a way. Stone Boy, is it true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are yeah. you? I think I'm um, away from the Western region. Oh, your yeah. mom is away, right? Yeah, my mom is okay. away. You know, How's so. mama, man? Oh, you don't talk I, much she, about she, her. She's cool, you know. It's just because of her my dad's problem. I don't really want to, you know, put myself in there, mm, you know. Mm. They have to solve their problems. You It'd know? be so. Yeah, like, yeah. we are for solve our own problems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, brother. Shata <laughs> is the man. I love his music and his life. Two. Good morning. This King Wise from Kaswa, Shata, uh, I feel you pass. I really like your personality. I normally behave like you, so I wish I'll uh, meet you, thank bro. You, How thank do people you. get to, to link up with you, man? It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's having flex. That's having flex. I've received my phone. flex. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Know. Good morning. Please give my, no, my, give my Momo number to Shata. Hey, brother. I like it. Shoot your shot. Uh, tell Shata only bless me with his mouth. He's truly a black Jesus. I need a prophecy. Well, uh, God bless you. God bless believe you. Believe the Baba. He wants to hear his name. He's called oh. Believe the Baba. Oh, believe. God bless you, man. <laughs> God is going to bless you. No way. <laughs> There's too many messages here. I have to go back to my seat. Uh, so before we wrap this up, mm. I just want to find out. So, mm. like, when, when, when Charles Niyama Mensah Jr. Mm. is really down and sad, mm. and you have to open up to somebody, mm. Who is that person that you you know that Charlie? If I call this person or if I WhatsApp this person, mm. he go have time for me. He go listen to me. Mm. He no go judge me. Mm. Who be that that person? God. Yeah, like so now when I see all the things on the internet and people saying like a whole lot of things about me, actually, what should we do now? Junior will tell me. You're picking. Who Junior? No, me. Ah, yeah, God, yeah, God talking to yeah. you. Yeah, so okay. I talk to myself like I say, what should we do? And say, let's let's call, let's talk to God. So I talk to. God, like I have time, you know. I don't. I'm not the type that prays, and I, I teach like most of my peers to around me that don't pray and, you know, pray like what they have taught you, you know, because there, there, there are a whole lot of lies in this world that mm -hmm. people they don't want us to find out. But I found out that God, I speak to Him like me. So when I'm speaking to God, like, and that is why I teach people like, God, what did you do right now? You see, you know, and I don't have that power to fight this. I just you know, try and change people. They have a mind on this. You know, I love this business. I want to do it. And God tells me, okay, I'll work on it. Don't worry. But I'll surprise you. I hear that thing. <laughs> you know, so I, so I don't pray like, God, for every father, what the radio stations are doing. But I cast it in the name of mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, so if, God, if you do him like that, he will leave you. I feel like when you come to my studio, you see that he's on my wall. God is here. So all my boys know that. So sometimes when we talk and we finish Brady, God. So any small room that you go to go and pray, don't think God is there. He's everywhere. He's, he's in your bedroom. You know, he's the all-seeing and all-knowing. So if you understand that alone, you can talk to him anywhere at any time. And he'll save you. So he's the only person I run to every time. And once in a while, when I feel, you know, life is getting tougher, 
you know, then I put my hands on the Bible and I'll be opening scriptures. Then he will take me to a scripture. And that's how come I have the scriptures stuck in my head because every time I want to understand why you know something and he'll just direct me. Recently, I think I, make one of the, I made one of the scriptures too. I, I went to one interview and I was talking about, I think I've forgotten about it a bit. Then. So I told, I was looking for the problems in Ghana. I was like, why don't Ghanaians really get it that like, this is the best place in the world, you know? Shata is not only even fighting for himself, he's fighting for people to benefit, for all of us to feel good. But sometimes, in times like this, you should know that we have to step on toes to solve the problem. We have to step on toes yes, to yes, solve the problem. Yes, solve the problem. Because if we don't, it's simple, but we, we, the fear is that we will solve it. Oh, like what, how the country is going. Like everybody's complete. Everybody, they suffer. Eh? That'll be in conclusion. Yes. Because if you are suffering, mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't let it out. Like me, when I'm suffering, I, I come and tell people that they are worrying me. I will do this. I will slap somebody. Mm -hmm. I, I say it. And people say, oh, Shata is rude. But as a person, they talk. Like, recently I talk something, say, anytime somebody talk about me online, I won't come online to and come face a person. Yeah. But now I see certain things online, I don't mind again. Because why? God has opened a chapter for me that, hey, you're going to make a whole lot of money. Like, that I put money into it. I paid for my Google Map service for about three years. And I had to pay $8,000, $12,000, $7,000. $7, I know nobody is paying attention to it but make somebody here so boom they say shaxi can't make money you can see our maybe gra tax and those things about where were you like now i've been paying for my music tax that i didn't make money from because you already take me money from my music how much did they take from you oh I, for, for now they the same i mean oh like nine nine billion but the, the bandana from Ghana, we means if I don't make money no. They say you the money. Right now, where I make money, that's where they are charging me from. They back data. Yeah, no, they, they calculate mm -hmm. me from, from back. Yeah, yeah. So I just like, and when I'm talking about the royalty system, nobody supports me. Like it's sad. So me sometimes I feel like we are scared too much to fight the problem. That is why I me mean, I'm vocal about it. I yeah. want them to know that Bring you know up. if you have done this for musicians, we would have been paying our tax because they would have been money. Yes, they, like. Then recently, I listened to some interview on BBC, mm. and the, the guy went to Nigeria and was talking to the Nigerian actors about how, of late, you see a lot of Nigerian actors appealing for help, the yeah, old ones. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Then, and, they, and, then, and then recently, I was thinking about the link to Ghana, and mm. recently, just yesterday, a black Kiki Kabobo. Yeah, Kiki Kabobo. Yeah. He, was, he had made an appeal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, how did you feel about that? And, and like old, you were talking about royalty yeah, and all that yeah. stuff. No, I feel so, sad. I, I started talking about royalty. I, I guess I was one of the first people that. Okay, the old people fight them, but me, I was vocal about that. Me, I, like, you know, I had to be vulgar about it because I wanted people to know that the thing now is serious. Like, you know, people are dying. Right. Like, yeah, so, and all, everybody's been, up, up, up until now, yeah. many artists are coming up and they are seeing the thing like, oh, I mean, they didn't talk about it. This person, oh, Obrafo didn't talk about it. So, okay, why? Oh, Shata is, oh, Shata, they say he's mad. But I'm not mad. This is a problem that can be solved, exactly. but we have to step on toes. How do they solve them abroad? How do they deal with royalties for UK? If you're a, a, a PRS guy or an ASCAP guy in America, what happens? You know the system, the structure works there already. Mm -hmm. So you have to just register your stuff and sit at home. Everything will come to you. Numb, but is it there? They didn't even solve it like yesterday. It, it started the same way. Yeah. You understand me? But it took somebody like that, that power to say, Charlie, they okay, do let's do this. Yeah. And it worked. So your Beyonce royalties, how do they come? No, I have, you know, my um, internet, you know, mm -hmm. stuff, my bank so account link. Yeah, so me, my, it comes to me. Like my YouTube, all the money comes to me. My audio mark, all the money comes to Thank me. You. I put my songs into about 430 stores. How many? 430 <laughs> stores, like around the world. Yeah, so <laughs> this rookie distributes this for me. Yeah. And all the money comes to me. You need to, you need to have a master class in music business. Uh, have they, has anybody from the universities come to you say, Shata, come and give us a class? Yeah, I've, we've gotten some calls that Sami is planning for us. Yeah, too. But you yeah. sometimes, I don't want to do this thing for free because Ghanaians. No, like, they should pay you. Yeah, because <laughs> Ghanaians are not understanding where I'm coming from. That <laughs> if, if you've been hungry before, mm -hmm. you will know how to look for the success of your life. You, you, you won't pretend. The whole system is just pretending, including yeah. the citizens. That's why, you know, we have presidents coming and, you know, showing us. 
you know, or telling us things that they cannot do. Mm. And we still sit down and watch them. Like now, I can watch people. You know, when Mama was in power, I was watching people saying, he wasn't doing anything, wasn't doing anything. Now that um, um, Nana is in power, everybody says, he's not doing anything. He's not it's doing like anything. autopilot. I have a song that I said, bring Baomiya, Mahama, and Nana together to come and rule Ghana. Ghanaians will still say they are not doing it. This is not, it's not out yet. Yeah, it's not out yet. When it will come out? Oh, very soon. He said, that's what I'm saying. Hit the inside, Ruan. Hit the inside. Hell, oh, shh, shh, Give me the rhythm. Like, how the rhythm does sound like? I can't, I can't. No, no, no. <laughs> you can't remember, but it's there. Give me the rhythm. Okay, okay. Hey, you see that beat that plays? Hit the inside. Listen, I feel your performance for the African Games. Thank you. Thank you very yeah, much. We could have a look at the feel of Shatawale doing his thing <laughs> for the 13th African Games, Accra yeah, 2023. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you see yourself, uh, when you watch your performances back again, are you happy? Are they all African Games? No, just you generally, when you watch yourself again, do you watch yourself after you have performed? Every time. Okay. What are you looking for? For the mistakes, you know, for yeah. things that I said that maybe might not be exact things that I wanted to say at that particular time, you know, so... Sometimes like changes, you know. So when I watch it, I feel I feel good. Like so, you're like a perfectionist. You want to. Yeah, I want, want to, to be great. Yeah, I want to be great. So I always want to steady myself. Even my songs, I want to listen to it again. So that I mix the song, send it out. I still want to listen to it again. Oh, that's me. Look at. Oh, na 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 na. Oh, na na. Oh, yeah, na na. Oh, chow chow. Who planned this costume, man? Love it. Okay, so the costume and everything was planned by the committee okay, for the All, right. all African yeah. Games by the Kente. You know, I had to call some inflation and say, Sammy, only can TBR. Because the air is for Ghana and we need to sell Ghana yeah, man. out there properly. Why well, they didn't want to give you Kente beginning? No, so they, they only gave us the colors of dress like that yeah. I could wear. Yeah, but this is you good, know? man. So when I saw the brown, I was like, brown, no cry, I can take a crown. So actually, you know, Sammy has this club that he said is about five years ago. Nobody has died, so he has not gone to any other of you know, and We thank God for that. So he told me, I want more to do, I said, Sammy, go and show or a Go, I brought it fresh, fresh kete. and we got a crown. I said, Sammy, I'm doing this for Ghana, even though you know I'm not getting the support from like you know the entertainment side of the media. Yeah, Ghanaians will love this Definitely. culture, you know, and you the look it. of it, you know. You, you, you look like the black stars when they were going into, uh, into Afghan, yeah, Afghan, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, me as Samajan, I used to teach him how to play football, he just you used to talent. teach him, yeah. What would be your position? So eight, oh, he, he replay the same number. Because yeah. I'm going to play eight or nine. Yeah, I don't even know the same number. I'm not saying this because this, this one's that he talks a good day, I'll say good day, he's so too bad. Are you left handed? Yeah, I'm left handed. Were, were, you, were you ever forced to try and change? You know, back in the day, they used mm. to try and force people to become right handed. Did, that, that, did you suffer that? No, my, my dad didn't try that at all. Is he left handed as well? Yeah, my dad, you know, my dad is a righty right by a hair, but he, you know, the. Me, I, I start, my left, I start using some um, anyhow, where to go. Uh -huh. So, like, you know, lefties are great people. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah. I have a son who's a lefty. <laughs> oh, he's going to be a great person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, good. so, uh, a phenomenal amount of input, uh, output between January and February. I'm looking at the screen, and there's a lot of music, man. Mm. During so many years. Campaign. Mm. Who's it? Digital mm. beggar. Mm. Who be the digital beggars? <laughs> Guys, some people that have come into my life and every day send me home, every day send me home. You know, you're alone, no. Yeah, you do, yeah. My brother. They have to group them. We have to teach them that, no, it's too much. My brother. Because every day, every day. So that it's not even after one month or two months. Or. I said yesterday, now they, 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 they don't they even greet yourself. They call uh, me and they say, I'm going to the hospital tomorrow. Hey, format. <laughs> <laughs> Being the guy, you said, you said, you all, if you clean, you all, if you tell me, you know, say, train the pass where he passed through my room, where he go outside, where he killed two of my sons, but they know that by God. The stories, they give you stories. I know, me, the stories are plenty. You know, which, which is the most outrageous story you've had, just to try and get money from you? I said, it sounds swallow fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to laugh because this is serious, man. He swallowed the fork. How yeah, he the fork, man? Ah, long fork. So I said, ah, what, it, be, it, be, it be toughy fork or popcorn fork. Popcorn fork. Mm, yeah. That sounds like a song, man. Yeah. Popcorn fork. Popcorn fork. Yeah. You want to move on? You want to come back? Uh, I don't know. Popcorn fork. I, I like the title. <laughs> when the title comes, give me a small royalty. Oh, no, I'll give you a you know. I don't, I don't, I don't be greedy like that. I'll give you. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Jesus, Jesus yeah. what the what what is up? Yeah, what we coming yeah. and no love, authentic. Yeah. Uh -huh. we, yeah, we. Oh, we are, that's the song I you know recorded with Medica. He just came home and we were just vibing to a beat and we decided to just record a song. Is this tree a real or another? Yeah, like, tree, a, yeah, yeah. Who be the thief? 
Oh, so it's just a song about a real moon chinomami. Moon chinomami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how, do you, how, do you, how do you get all these interesting ideas? I mean, how, what's your what's your creative process like? How do you how do you get a song? Okay, so I I, I build my music based on reality. Mm -hmm. You know, so all my songs I sing about are reality songs. You know, mm -hmm. that people can relate to. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. I don't like you know singing illusional stuff. You mm -hmm. know, I want to sing real life stories. You Take know, it, like you go to Ghana, and we took over. You know, and after that, they want to overthrow me, but I'm not a Nana or Mahama, so they can't. That's okay. king. What's, 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 what's the inspiration for that one? So that's okay. king. Just announcing yourself? Yes, you know. Okay, like a branding song. And because I was more into dancehall music, okay. yeah, you know, so I wanted everybody to know in Africa that, like, you know, when it comes to dancehall here. You. Yeah. This is, gonna, this is an impossible question. Which is your favorite song? Now? Yes. Oh, well, maybe the one I'll see making money for me, and that's me and Beyonce's song. That one. Yeah, you shine know, for already. now. Yeah, Shine Already, because the title itself, the king already, you know, I felt the direction was ordained, you know, God had to make us. I don't know why she could record a song with me and mid-title it, King Already, you know, so. Because uh, she didn't even put herself in the song. It's just King Already. Yeah. And that's you, man. Yeah. You know, I hope Beyonce telling me I'm a king already. And that's, that's why I tell people that, you know, God brought me into this industry to, you know, channel a course, you know, and I'm, it's, I feel so sad when, you know, um, I find, like, I find other radio stations, you know, talking ill about me and saying a whole lot of things. Like, I am the guy, you know, they need to just understand that I love them. I don't Getting people scared. Another one brought one recently about John Kuma. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And they've not arrested him. <laughs> no, they have to arrest him. Maybe IGP has not. IGP now is my, you know, buddy, buddy. Because I, I feel all these people love me. Mm -hmm. But certain people in the media have made me look some way. So unless you meet me before, you know, ah, I know, also a nice person. But, uh, so I'm trying to also help the system by, you know, solving problems like that you know that's why this music industry i've been telling them that they can't stop me because i'm not doing anything wrong mm. Ghanaians love me more than two or three radio stations sitting down and talking ill about shatawali so i always want to be that person to stay like to spearhead this thing and make sure that it works yes because it has to because generations are coming up yeah. people are coming up and you know and sometimes that's why i even say our presidents you know like People in the high places should know that you won't know when the calling will come to your son or daughter. You and tell me that, that they want to be a So if for me come, if for ready, ready, so yeah, for me come, because it's, life is like that. Be so. You won't know when the president's son or the president's grandson will say that in person making music or missing music. Nah, no, I hear that. And then, and then right happened? now you start blaming yourself. Recently, Duncan Williams was preaching and he was talking about him not being there for his kids. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, these are the kind of preaching is parents hear. into like impassive into preach because most of our big men they are just there and they are feeling like oh, oh such a almost <laughs> but when your son comes up then you will know then you know the difference this is a, a, probably a last question mm. so uh rascuku said just sent a message mm. and he says ah, he wants you to be president mm. rascuku yeah and that's my <laughs> rascuku is my buddy buddy you <laughs> know and these are these are people who have told them about music mm. you know the journey and stuff like that so if he wants you know me I've, i'm always saying that 
before Ghanaians will realize, I can stir this thing and enter into politics just because I want to help Ghanaians. That's a plan one day. When I have the money, you know, when I have a good team, when I have like, you know, people who wants to back me up. Because Ghanaians need somebody who is outspoken, who can set the record straight. Because we all have to eat. It's just that the system is just like some people are eating and some are not eating. And the people that are not eating are not outspoken. They're... <laughs> And you are you are suffering. Everybody for job. Everybody for job. My brother, the next interview mm. will be in your studio. I love it. I'll, I'll invite you to my bed. Myself. <laughs> you know, you are you are like a role model that I watch on TV. You know, thank you I, very much. I want to invite you to my house. So anytime. Yeah, Shout out Wale. You. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so God bless much. You. God bless you. God bless you. My, my, wife, my wife will love your outfit because her favorite color is orange. And those orange pants are really nice. Uh, yeah. Don't yeah. no, worry, I'll come with my back. Hi, mommy. <laughs> I don't call her mommy. The children call her mommy. I just call her Jifa. Jifa. Yes. Hi, Jifa. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. From me and Shata. God bless. Take thank care. You. One love. <laughs>